All right, so uh, we have a brand new trailer for Resident Evil 4 Remake. Uh, it's always a good time when we have Resident Evil stuff. So uh, let's jump into this, check out, see what's all the new details, all the, the spicy new details with RE4 Remake. Uh, this is the exclusive coverage trailer for Game Informer. So it's like a minute and a half. Uh, it's going to be their, um, their magazine cover. Uh, I, it's the official cover of the game also being revealed and some new details on what the hell the gameplay is going to be like. So let's jump into it. Let's do it. Let's check this out. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's really good. In 2005, Resident Evil 4 changed the face of survival horror. The game's phenomenal blend of action and horror, combined with its revolutionary over-the-shoulder gameplay, cemented it as a bona fide classic, a magic Capcom hopes to recapture with a modernized remake. That reinvention graces Game Informer's cover this month. We visited Capcom's headquarters in Osaka, Japan, to play Chapter 1 and 5 of Resident Evil 4 and speak to its principal no, no, okay, designers, yeah, is including directors Whoa. Yasuhiro Ampo okay. and Kazunori Kadori, a ground who previously led the Resident Evil 2 remake. Viewers can also look forward to never-before-seen gameplay and a new rapid-fire interview. Beginning today, digital magazine subscribers can read 12 pages sharing new details Get on the opening the section, <laughs> breakdowns of Ashley's gameplay and other tweaks, plus impressions of the church, yeah, some cemetery, rain. and house yeah. battle segments. Ooh. The weapons. To keep up with all of our coverage, bookmark GameInformer.com slash Resident Evil 4 okay, and so subscribe yeah, we have to our YouTube very, channel. Very Thanks for watching and we'll see you here. soon. Um, I, it's like everybody gives RE4 credit, so much credit on that stuff of like, I don't know. I, I just, I've always felt like they over credit RE4 with, you know, when there was other games doing over the shoulder third person shooters at the same time. And even before that too. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. So this is looking super good. Like Leon's character model, of course, looks absolutely awesome. Uh, R2, so you can break free or you can just stab him in the head with the knife. Uh, so we're getting the knife stuff back. Let's see here. He's gonna he's gonna knock him back, knock him down. So the Matilda looking like a 1911 now. That's that's. But the 1911 is supposed to be like a heavy gun. Um, I like that though. If if they're just gonna turn uh the, the little pea shooter Matilda <laughs> into a full on like 1911, that's my favorite gun. So hell yes. Um, of course everybody's instinctively starting to shoot at kneecaps, but. That's very different right there, where you actually reach down, stab them, like, I'm, I'm going to finish them off, boom, you go into their neck, you know, back in the day, you'd shoot them in the kneecap, they drop to the ground, you start knifing, eh, 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 you know, and you hit them a couple few times, boom, they're dead. Um, so that's going to be a very cool brand, you know, all these brand new animations of like escaping and, you know, maybe the, the punch, the punch back and whatnot. Um, again, I'm just kind of hoping they do take this a little more serious than what the original one was. I know that's like, you know, there's, there's two fans of Resident Evil, the four, I should say in particular, there's the one that loves all the arc arcadey cartoony, you know, over the top action of, you know, I'm going to, you know, drop kick somebody. I'm going to freaking suplex and whatever. Uh, and then there's the other ones that are just like, it's a little much. You know, because, like, Resident Evil is so cool and so, like, grounded, um, as far grounded as it can be for being a zombie shoot -em up you know, action game. Um, <clears throat> where, again, too, they're like, it's a survival. It's a horror survival or survival horror game, whatever. And I'm just like, it's a survival horror game, but it's, it's basically an action game. And this is usually tied as being the most action-oriented game of the Resident Evil series is, is RE4. Um, outside of, like, RE6, of course, with all the quick time events and everything. <clears throat> but... Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's super interesting seeing all these new animations happen and all that. Um, uh, so we're going to also check out the interview, but just real quick. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mr. Suave over here. And okay. So this is the building where all hell is going to break loose. They're all going to be bashing through. My God, the animations on those are, are great. I cannot wait to see what the mining community is going to be doing with this too. Like the the level of detail and the le and the way that this is working. So it looks like could this be? Um, I was going to say just after no, 
You know what this is? This is probably after you rescue her in, in the first like castle area because that's the castle back there. And then you got to run out of the door and, and start hauling ass down through. Um, here, just slight little detail. They changed it. I think they changed her skirt up so it's not so much because before she was wearing almost like the, uh, uh, what, you, what you call it, the... Um, like the cheerleader skirt she was almost wearing or, or like that school, school girl out, outfit skirt. And it looks like more of like the, um, kind of pencil skirt. So you're probably going to have a little bit more covered up action there. And, and that's one of those things where the, the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because this game is so much more just like the, you know, the camera angles and the cin cinematography that's happening in that. I feel like definitely they're they're doing some different design choices with this. That's where I'm trying to go with this is design choices for the characters to make it feel a little more grounded. Um, and I I do hope that they go that direction with this because RE4 it's awesome and I would love to see it just go a little bit a little bit less on the hee hee ha ha moments and just be like, okay, Leon is now this like semi not not tough guy but he's like a semi serious character that can that can crack a couple wise crack jokes but it doesn't turn into like a you know like to me re4 feels like one of the modern day marvel movies and i know there's a lot of people that'd be like what the fuck what are you two doing you know i'm probably pissing all all the re4 fans off by saying that but to me that's what the original re4 felt like it was just like god there's so many freaking stupid ass corny ass jokes in this so that's one thing I've I've been hoping that they kind of crack you know, they they scale that back a little bit. Sure, had to punch you one liners in there, but make them work better. You know, that's the one thing to me. It's like they didn't work; they were just kind of thrown out there. And it was just like, oh god, you just said that. Like, why? <laughs> that's one. Of the, that's one of my main complaints about re four. All right, in a in a pleasant twist turn of events here, we actually somebody is has uh, of course leaked the the whole thing of of what it is. So. Um, originally didn't want to do the remake. Yes, this is, that's actually what I was hearing too. Um, hang on a second. Uh, so originally didn't want to do the remake, didn't want to start from scratch, but rather di dial things to 11. Replayability and flexibility on how you play were key pillars in development. No QTEs. Uh, you can carry multiple knives and so no quick time events. So that's uh, right there is, is bringing it away from arcade and bringing it more kind of like a, a more serious vibe. Uh, you can carry multiple knives, uh, can also be beat with knives only mode. Can we just get an infinite knife? Can we just do that? You know, they, it's, <laughs> that, that was, that worked so well in RE2 and 3 remake of, you know, for knife only runs and everything like just, yeah. Uh, laser sight is an upgrade. Yellow herbs are in the game. Okay. Uh, ground executions can prevent plagas from forming. That's cool. Uh, R3 is used to command Ashley. Uh, she can follow closely or fall back, but will not remain in one place. Okay. So it's like, you know, follow me or, or follow me. Stay hold. You know, it's like one of those types of situations. Uh, there are no dumpsters for Ashley to hide in this time. So she's going to be even more of a nuisance. Ashley does not have a health bar, but if she's damaged too much, she'll need to be revived. She'll die if attacked again in the States. Okay, that's a pain in the ass, but all right. Uh, new weapon bolt thrower has been added. It's a crossbow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, new enemy that wields a hammer and wears a bull mask. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. So new enemy types, that's, that's cool. Uh, more new enemies are also teased by Capcom. Yeah. Uh, there are side quests in the game. Can be numerous things to do, such as fetch quests, puzzles, and more. Uh, attach, attach, attache cases <laughs> can have perks now, such as increasing ammo drops. Okay, so you got perks in this. Why not just give us the coin system like you did in RE3 Remake? Weird. Uh, you can uh, barricade during the house section like in RE2 Remake barricade during the house sex so you're you're grabbing wood pieces and then putting them onto the windows i guess uh the game blends horror and action very well all right um that's it's totally subjective uh game informer was hella impressed and wanted to play more after their time was up saying that thus far capcom is nailing its goal here the problem is 
this sounds like it's coming from a, I mean, this could be anybody to, like writing this up too. Um, the problem is this, this sounds like it's coming from a fan's point of view and not somebody that's just like unbiased on it of like, okay, here's, here's what it is. You know, um, this is like, I have been playing this game for 20 something years and I absolutely love it. And I have a statue and a body pillow of, of Leon from RE4 and I, <laughs> I, you know, I want this game to be one certain way that, that that could easily be what where this is being written from. So I am going to take I, I'm I'm liking a lot of what I'm seeing here. There is some stuff like, you know, like this whole thing where it's like, oh, so this should feel a lot like maybe like The Last of Us, I dare say, um, where it's like Ashley can do like that was one of the things that everybody wanted to see was actually have way more increased you know attack range and everything of like oh if somebody if one of the ganados comes at ashley she can stab that damn guy with a with a knife or something that's kind of like that ellie feel to it like you know ellie ellie can you know mess some you know tickers up if, if she really wants to and that's what we we're all hoping for ashley to do this just feels like it's going to be a babysitter mission for for leon which that's sure that's what it could start out as being but actually by the end of the game i feel like or not even by, by a quarter of the way through after like sh there should be a moment where she she kills a ganado and she's like oh i got this i can do this and all of a sudden it's like switch clicks and, and then now, now you're both sitting there like yeah going through maybe maybe even give ashley a gun why not you know that's that's the type of stuff that i was hoping for from this remake um just to make ashley's character even even way cooler like hyper character up even if she is just uh, using a knife and if she's like badass with a knife or something that's really cool because later on ashley becomes an agent and everything else uh and that's why i was kind of wondering if maybe like ashley and um and Rose from RE7, if they are maybe friends or something, you know, in, in, in a later Resident Evil game, that'd be really cool to see, you know, the, the timelines converge like that and everything. Um, yeah, yeah, that's some stuff in this I'm liking, some stuff I'm just like, no. <laughs> uh, new enemy types and such, absolutely. Side quests, no. Uh, no QTs, that's cool. But, Ash, you know, Ashley, you're just going to have to watch her ass the whole time. Ah, no dumpsters for the hide in or whatever, because that was one of the things you could get her out of the way. So then she's not, it's not just like, okay, I'm trying to shoot you. I'm trying to shoot you. I'm trying to shoot you. Oh, no. Now they're grabbing her. Okay. So I shot this guy. Now they're trying to grab her again. Now I just stabbed that guy. Now they're grabbing her again. That's what I'm afraid of with, with this here, of what they're saying here with this. So. Um, again, that's why I don't want it to be a one-to-one -one recreation of the original game. I want them to actually, but originally didn't want to do the remake. That does kind of make sense because originally it was just going to be the RE4 and VR and then basically Meta bought out the license rights for Quest 2 because I'm pretty sure it was, uh, from what the earliest stuff we were hearing is I was going to be like, it was going to be on the Quest, so it was going to be on PSVR, and it was going to be, you know, because RE4 is not that hard to run, so you could run it on all the different systems. And because Meta bought out the license rights for it for exclusivity, it kind of screwed that thing up. So then that's why, and then everybody was just so gung-ho about, like, oh, my God, they're remaking it again. Um, and that's, you know, it's not, it's not a remaster. It's an actual remake. Okay, well, then make it an actual remake. Don't make it one-to-one. -one. That doesn't, that's not a remake. It's like, I will say, though, in VR, RE4, you know, because VR makes it feel a, a, a tad bit more grounded just because you're in it. That's what is making me so, like, pumped up and hyped up for RE4 Remake. Plus, on top of that, it's a remake universe. <clears throat> it's, the alternate, it's the alternate timeline. Yeah, it seems like Leon's got way more, like, military. Like, it's almost like his RPD outfit a little bit more because... Because before he had just like he had like a belt on with some, what was it like a grenade and a couple ammo packs and whatnot, and it was basically just like pants and and the the muscle shirt pretty much, um, or the the workout shirt that he's got on, and that was just you know he's just running around doing everything. But now it looks like they they gave him maybe a few more pockets and and such because. I don't know. This looks like military fatigues or something. Maybe it's maybe it's like his uh, late game outfit or something. Um, cool. I do hope there is some stuff cut, but at the same time, we've already kind of heard the, you know, all the ones that are working out, they're like, no, everything is here. And some of the stuff is actually one-to-one -one with what it was before, which 
is fine. Um, you know, like RE4 is is probably one of the biggest selling, but also one of the highest rated Resident Evils ever. And it, it might not be my personal favorite, but um, and and I'm not alone in that. And <laughs> there's a there's a ton of love for RE4, but not everybody loves it. Um, but this looks the best it's ever looked, and that's that's the biggest plus sign for this for this remake is. Um, also, I hope it's more remake than remastering. I really do hope that they change up the storyline a little bit more because they're going to have to to fit in with the RE7 and uh, RE Village storyline. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool seeing it. I uh, can't wait to check out even more information on it. Um, if it is one to one, I am I. If it's one to one dialogue and all, then I'm I'm probably going to like the game less in all honesty. But if they do change up and make it, you know, a little more grounded and from what the look and feel of every trailer that we've seen, it doesn't seem like it's one to one, not to me. Like pers- my personal take on it is just like I don't think this game is actually a one to one. I think they might be saying it just to keep keep everybody's attention that's the OG fans. Um, and when we actually go to play, it's going to be like, well, they did change this, they did change that. And I think they might also, because RE3 remake had such a blowback of like, well, you cut this and you cut that. I think they, they're they really going to be doubling down on saying that they didn't cut anything, but they changed it. And that's at, at the same time, we've heard that too with RE3 remake that, you know, the stuff that they, that everybody says that they cut, they're like, no, it's there. Like the clock towers in the background, you just can't run through it anymore, which is it's absolutely true. So are we going to see that with RE4 remake? very big possibility that yes we will end up seeing that um am i gonna be mad about it if it's certain certain moments like the like the giant robot and all that shit just drop that stuff we can you can do something better with it like that's what I, that's my main thing of this is like i just want re4 to be the best version of re4 that it can be and for them to update moments and update dialogue and everything so it basically flows better so you don't have these moments of like oh god i gotta go to this room eh. In all these remakes, every single every single moment, every single room is just like, what's coming around the next corner? That's the feeling that I want for RE4. I think we all want that. Um, and, you know, to be honest, we just want it to be the best thing it can be. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. And, yeah, I'll be back with more information as soon as they drop anything Resident Evil. You know I'm here. I, I'm a big fan of it on the channel. So, um, with that being said, like, subscribe, share all the stuff on the YouTube channel. You know what to do. Uh, and yeah, everything helps out all the numbers, uh, you know, it, it, as long as you're, you know, liking and checking out the, even just clicking on the video and watching for a little bit, it helps. It, it drives the numbers up one way or the other into the algorithm system. All that good, you know, all of that stuff that you always hear. Um, but yeah, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, I will see you next time.